uh, special teams play tonight. What made it so easy for you guys to get a goal to and uh, Brent? Um, I don't know. I think it's a coincidence a little bit. Obviously, we work on our practice and we know our spots in the power play and how we move and stuff. But the first goal was probably that's something we train and practice on. The second one just broken up play and happen to see that it was back to world. That your goal, you made no doubt about that. Yeah. Just, just being in the right spot? Yeah, I picked it up in the middle and didn't think too much, just trying to put it high and land. Seems kind of as of late, you've kind of taken uh, charge of your line, be it um, last uh, series with Romanko and uh, Gates and this time, uh, these guys you have right now. Um, do you kind of feel like you're uh, stepping into more of a leadership role right now? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, it's my junior year and halfway through, and hopefully I can be an uh, even better leader next year. But, as an upperclassman and as as I look at myself, I think I have a responsibility to help other guys uh, get in better. Um, I I shouldn't really you know, play with players that necessarily makes me better. I, I should be that guy that co the coaches and my teammates can rely on. What for you has kind of changed or what do you think that like has helped you kind of, uh, I don't know, make that realization, but just uh, go on that path? I, I think it's natural, you know, you want to take a step as a hockey player, you want to take a step as a leader, and I think we all here want to play in the next level, so uh, if you can elevate your game, if you can elevate your leadership into the next step, when you can, like you think you should, so that's what I'm trying to, trying to do, I'm trying to get better uh, on the ice, and I'm trying to get better off the ice. Clues on Wednesday said that the forwards need to play more of a 200-foot game for this team to take the next step. Do you think you guys played better defensively and back-checking tonight? Not really, to be honest. I think we have a lot of stuff to work on. We gave up a lot of odd man rack rushes, and uh, I don't know how many shots we blocked, but it's still an issue with our team. It's still an issue that we're a little on and off. We're, we're not consistent with 60 minutes, so we won, and that's great, but there's a lot of things we can learn from this game, too. What do you think that you need to improve on for tomorrow, just coming off of uh, like all the 20-day uh, break? Uh, you know, uh, looking at all the odd man rushes we gave up, they played a fast game where they stretch out three guys in neutral zone and they beat up up the ice, up the ice a couple of times. Also, I don't like our ground game, ground game tonight. Mm -hmm. We did not have a lot of some, some time. It's, our, our goals came off the rush and then the power play and one open header. So what's no goals like from hard work in the zone and we need at least one of, one of those each night. Yeah, people have seen uh, Gates get this to celebrate that hat trick. Yeah, I was, I was happy. You know, it's fun for him to get going a little bit and uh, you know, a hat trick is really nice to get. Do you think it's tough to have that good ground game after a break? You know, when you're just kind of playing shinny hockey and you pick up games and stuff like that to play a real team? It the shouldn't challenge. be. Yeah. It shouldn't be. Um, you know, we're not professional. We don't get paid, but we are, like, our mind are as professional mind. So when we get back, we know what we're doing. We get a full week of preparation. So it sh should not be an issue. Uh, maybe it was tonight. But that's all on us, and we have nothing to blame.